we don't like to see our home, table and cabinet unorganized. But when it comes to organizing our digital files, we make something like this. And during meeting, when we cannot find files, we blame Murphy's law, right? If you watch how my second brain works, then you know organize is the second step of second brain. So in this video, I will demonstrate you an effective file organization technique so that you and your team can find any files instantly. Also at the end, I will demonstrate how I organize all of my files in different applications throughout my second brain system such as Google Drive, Zotero and Obsidian. The technique I will show you is known as ZD system. No, 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 no. ZD doesn't mean Johnny Depp, it means Johnny Decimal. So without further delay, let's make your ZD system. Step 1. Divide everything into 10 main areas. If you run a company, you could do something like finance, marketing, sales, administration, etc. Step 2. Divide each area into multiple categories and put a sequential number. For example, you could divide marketing into asset, campaign, publicity and events. So for each category, you are getting a unique number. Let me tell you why this is convenient. First, it automatically sorts your categories. So put the smaller number for the most important categories that you work frequently. By this way, you will get the most important category at the beginning. Second. You do not need to think too much when you need to open a folder because the position of the folder sticks to your hand memory. You could make query faster. Just type 11, you would get the text return. If anyone in your team asks you where is the text return, he could say aloud 11. And the most important part is nothing is more than two clicks away. Last but not least, follow the same structure throughout your system. So let me repeat this line. Follow the same structure in all the applications you use, such as Google Drive, Zotero, and Obsidian. So next time when you need to put a file into a specific folder, you do not need to think too much. So that makes your life easy. Now let me show you my Google Drive folder structure. As I am a PhD student, my areas are designed focusing on this. So I divided everything into 10 main areas and I put the smaller number for the area that I work most. I also try to put a readme file to explain what's going on with each area. This is also ideal in actually team environment because you do not need to explain everyone what's going on with all those areas. Home. I put personal stuffs over here. I put stuffs here in such a way so if I die my wife could donate everything except this folder. Next is academic. I put all of my PhD coursework and homeworks and BSc coursework and math and science related stuff in this folder. And next is tools. I put here my microcontroller related stuff and computer science and programming related things and all the simulation software I use for research and all the different softwares I use daily basis. Next, general. So everything except my academic study such as non-fiction books, fiction books and personal knowledge management that I'm interested most and finance, investment, productivity, everything actually go into this folder. And the most important idea is the content. So everything from this area actually goes into internet and I put all of my YouTube videos and my blog contents and the books I'm currently working on. I have also planned to publish few books in future and the course I made before and the social media posts, everything I put in this folder. I believe now you have the idea of how do you organize your files following the ZD system. And the most important part is I follow the same structure in Zotero Obsidian and all the softwares that I use daily basis. Before I look for the best method for organizing my files, later I realized that actually there is no best method. The best method is that works for you. So make use ZD today. If you are new to my channel, I am Shubhankar Dash, research assistant and PhD student. If you find this video useful, hit subscribe and bell icon. You could also sign into my newsletter to get notification into your email.